everybody. Um, welcome to a brand new week. Happy Monday. Um, we are so, so happy that you are joining us here on Hunky Dory Craft TV. My name is Rebecca Monks and I am very, very privileged to be your host again today. Um, we have got the most exciting show. Um, it is off for the love of stamps. They will be making an appearance. Um, and we are very excited to bring those to you. On the producer's desk, we have Emily. Say good morning. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> and in our demonstration station, busily um, preparing her last bits, <laughs> is Anne-Marie Catterall. Um, maybe preparing her first bits. <laughs> oh, okay. We don't, it's okay. It's okay. We know that we're going to get a great show from you anyway, oh, so it's fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Did you have a nice weekend? I did, thank you. Yes. Uh, quite chilled out I feel this weekend. Me too, me yeah, too. Yeah, we went over to Martin Mir on Saturday, saw oh the birds, way. we had a nice walk around there. It's cold but sunny, it was nice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then what did yesterday? Oh, we went to a, in the soft place centre. Oh, oh yay. Those oh. Places. It's the noise, the noise is just, you feel like you've gone deaf when you walked out of one of those buildings. Yeah, the noise <laughs> and those ridiculously bright colours of yeah. everything. Why is everything in there <laughs> so bright? <laughs> Um, I, yeah, I, it's been a long time since I've been to one of them, like with my nephews. But yes, they are. They are just. They could do with being a bit more subdued, yes. a bit more natural yeah. tones. Yeah. I'd be feeling that a zen soft play, um, definitely. Let us know what you got up to um, over the weekend. I will be reading some of your comments, and I would love to know: Did you do a bit of crafting? Did you do a bit of chilling out, or did you have any fun, fun plans? Please let us know. Um, we are going to go straight on in with our Win It Weekly. Okay, so our Win It Weekly prize this week, Emily has handpicked the Duotone um, Mattastic Paper Pad Ultimate Collection. Ooh. I, isn't it a great prize this week? So, as you can see, there is absolutely chocker loads of paper there for you to play with. Um, so, these are our duotone paper pads. They are double-sided. So, this one, for example, the Petal Pink and Fuchsia Fizz, you have got the two sides there for you. And it sort of varies in tone. We'll have a very quick flick from light to sort of a more subdued colour and double-sided there for you. Being matastic, you can stamp, you can distress, you can use your markers, anything that you choose to. And we have got um, all of these um, pads for you. The Cornflower and oh, Lovely nice. Wine Look, this one's beautiful, isn't yeah. it? Um, definitely. These would be the perfect partner for what we've got coming up oh, on the show. Oh, they absolutely would. Um, the Licorice and the Terracotta. So those nice sort of like neutral colours, those greys, those blacks, and those sort of tan browns there for you and the Kiwi Crush and Crystal Lagoon. Absolutely stunning. So these are worth 24.96 and we have five winners today. Um, super exciting. I love it when we give like oh, loads away and we have lots of winners. Um, so to be in with the chance, you guys know the drill. Um, we need you to like, share and comment on our video today, please. So. What is the UK's national dish? Ooh. Ooh! Is it A, fish and chips? Is it B, bangers and mash, or sausage and mash? Or C, chicken tikka masala? What a great question. I like that, isn't it? I know. I'm quite surprised that roast dinner's not on there. Oh, roast dinner mm. goes without. Did you have a roast dinner yesterday? I did. So yeah. did I. Yeah, roast beef oh, yesterday. It's the rules on Sunday. It is. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, I think any of these would fit though. Yeah. Um, yeah, chicken tikka masala. Normally you'd think it was like an Indian dish and it's yeah. actually not. It's, yeah, we've made it very British, haven't we? We have, definitely. Mm. I know if you go around to like Birmingham or sort of the Midlands, yeah. you get really, really, really great Indian or like British Indian food. It's yeah. great. Um, so let us know, um, what do you guys think? Fish and chips, bangers and mash, or chicken tikka masala? Um, so now that is all done, um, keep your comments coming in. Um, we are going to get on to the next part of our show, um, which is to introduce these beautiful stamps. Um, Emily, have we got a VT? Yep, yeah, perfect. We will show you a little VT on these beautiful stamps. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so hopefully that should um, get you in the mood for our show today. Some absolutely beautiful inspiration there from the team. Um, so as you saw from that little sneaky peek BT, um, our new collection is called the Botanical Beauties. Lots of florals, very traditional, perfect to get you in the mood for spring. Here's a little sneak peek of the first one. Um, so they are in a um, full set here, the ultimate collection. Um, so you're gonna get in um, five of these stamps, um, packs and there is 44 in total they are a6 in size and this would cover pretty much all of our best loved well-known flowers yeah, don't definitely. they yeah definitely we've got some real classics in here haven't we yeah absolutely and covering a sort of we've tried to pick a flower for almost every occasion yeah we've got love sympathy friendship you know all those classic um sort of favorites here um, so I will get on and show you these. So this is the first one, the hydrangea um, here. So you get your um, main centerpiece one here, the star of the show, that hydrangea. Um, and then you also get the little accompaniments, those little petals and those smaller flowers on there. I'll just show you that on the screen. And then you also get further embellishments here. So you get the swirly details, um, a, 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 a long, very swirly one. And then just a little one, perfect for going on banners, um, on little tags, making backgrounds. Um, you get the name of your flower here, so that's hydrangea. Um, so if you're not up on your flowers, it's okay, we've got, we've got you covered. We've got the name of the flower here. Um, we've got a sentiment, so this one would be perfect for your thank you cards. I am so grateful for you. Perfect on those, so uplifting as well. And then on them all, we have this gorgeous sort of um, script font, um, and that is a description of the flower. So this says, the hydrangea shrub is a popular choice for the garden thanks to its beautiful blooms that brighten any space. Each species color, pertains its own meaning, but in general, hydrangeas are thought to symbolize gratitude and heartfelt emotions. So the really nice sort of descriptions there of your flowers, again, you can use those as backgrounds um, on the side of your cards. The, the possibilities with these are absolutely endless. You can use them in so many different ways. Um, and we've got lots of makes to show you on that one. The next one here is Jasmine. So this is absolutely stunning. You, again, get your main centerpiece one here. They are all slightly different. So they follow the same format. Um, however, they have got their own sort of signature style. So this one, you've got the butterfly in there. Again, your swirl detail just on here that goes around the corner. Um, your script font, which coordinates perfectly with the jasmine flower. And again, the name of the flower, all in the same font. So if you want to mix and match, do a mm -hmm. few different flowers. Yeah. Um, all your script and your text is going to absolutely match perfectly. Um, this one, um, the sentiment is wishing you the best of luck. Uh, the next one is a lovely lilac. I used to have a lilac tree oh, in my really? childhood home and the smell was incredible. It's like perfume. Yeah, yeah beautiful. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Um, so again, you have your lilac here, absolutely in full, full bloom. Um, this one's really um, beautiful because and pretty because you've got this um, swirl detail which would look perfect at the top of your tags, um, anything like that. Uh, again, a really nice universal sentiment on this one, time to relax and unwind. So that would be perfect to send to a friend um, or just anyone that just needs a really nice... Um, you know, just a little bit of a pick-me-up. Yeah, a little boost. Yeah, definitely. And I think lilac, it's just those nice, soft, calming colours yeah. as well, isn't it, that we always think of with lilac. Pansy here, beautiful. Um, pansy, well, violas are slightly smaller than pansies, but they're actually the February birth month flowers. Oh, hey. so that's, that's my little birth You're month little flower. Violet. Yeah. Oh. Um, so we have these as well. Pansies, we were um, talking about this before the show. They are so many different colours. Yeah, I was just having a little look because my instinct was to go purple. Yes, I think that's what you think, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. but then I actually saw you could get them in pink. Yeah, you, you can. You get them in, like orange and yellow sort of toes. You can get all sorts. Yeah, it's amazing. So whatever kind of look you want for this card, again, we've got loads of makes to show you coming up. 
um, you know, you could sort of make this really, really unique to what card or what colour palette you want to do. Um, you've got the little shadow butterflies on here. Um, you've got the pansy sort of like just waiting to just pop out into this beautiful big one here. Um, a gorgeous um, other little butterfly here, your script font, and again, your name. So they are, as you can see, there's a running sort of theme with this collection. It's all been designed to coordinate perfectly together. And oh, finishing on a mm -hmm. high with the rose. I think this when you think of flowers, you think of roses. Yeah, definitely. Perfect for this time of year. If you are making any cards for Valentine's Day, if you're making to sell, um, Valentine's Day cards this is just perfect but lovely for like weddings anniversary mm -hmm. all those special love occasions um, so again this one you actually get quite a lot in this set as well we've jam-packed the sheet of um, A6 um, stamp sets here and um, so you get the big rows here and again you can we've not actually attached this to the stem so if you want just the flowers um, for making backgrounds or to fussy cut um, you know you can just do that with this one or you can attach the stem on here it is a separate stamp individually here um, again we've got the rosebud here so again you could attach that onto yeah, the yeah, um, stem you can, definitely if you wanted a mix and match of ones in bloom and ones in bud you could definitely do that um, you get these gorgeous little heart swirls um, this banner at the side is particularly beautiful. Mm, that is really pretty, isn't it? It's, it's going to be lovely on like wedding stationery. Oh, of course, yeah. Again, um, maybe get your embossing um, powders mm. out, anything that you um, have got lying around in your stash, um, any bits of matastic. And again, this roses come in so many colours as well. Um, I mean, I think yeah. at this time of year, we're thinking like red roses. Yeah, but definitely. Again, pinks, yellows. I love yellow roses. They're yeah. gorgeous, aren't they? So yellow happy, roses. Aren't they? Yeah. Um, brilliant. So now that we've shown you um, all of our stamps, we are going to see what you can do with this um, featuring Amarie. Okay, so we're going to use our hydrangea. Oh, lovely. Um, it is my my favourite out of the set, I think. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I know whenever hard we to pick. <laughs> talk about flowers, um, you always say that hydrangeas, you've got a bit of a soft spot for hydrangeas. Yeah, definitely. Um, they are just such a beautiful big bloom, aren't they? Yeah. I'm just trying to find my purple, sorry. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use mostly pinks. Okay. So I've got some of my inks. I've got my pink jelly bean, my camellia pink, my purple velvet, and I'm just going to grab my black currant jam as well. Not sure which I'm going to use yet, but I just want to get them all ready. Perfect. Um, so I'm going to do um, a few different techniques on here we're going to use some inks we're going to use some of our brush markers um we're going to do some all sorts of things so let's get started first of all so i've got a six by four piece of our premium watercolor card yeah and i'm just gonna tape this down okay onto my mat I actually should have brought my messy one shouldn't i but it's okay it's okay so i'm just gonna pop that on there and then i'm gonna get just a piece of sort of print paper scrap paper yep and i'm just gonna create like a torn edge okay um, and I'm going to use this on here to do like a little bit of inking oh lovely um, so just using this almost like a mask if you will yep. just to create that sort of um torn edge so again I'm just going to take this down as well oh lovely so this is all nice and secure so nothing's going to move hopefully. perfect so let's grab our I'm going to get our pink jelly bean because this is a really pale um pink it's really yes. nice and soft yeah it is <coughs> isn't it very nice delicate color this one yeah so just going in picking up the edges firstly yeah so they're a little bit heavier okay and then i'm going to take this over and sort of get on this torn edge as well fabulous so this is really such a delicate shade and that's fine because we don't want this to be too heavy no, because this isn't the focus. This is just a little extra on the side of our card. Yeah. So this is going to be part of your background. Yes. Wonderful. Exactly. There we go. And then I'm going to bring in some of our purple next. So I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with our purple velvet, but I don't want too much. Hmm, let's just double check. I'm not. No, that is the one I want. It is the one I want. Definitely. Yeah. Cool. We'll see. I'm going to not put any extra ink on. I'm going to see what's on my yeah. little thing first because I think, yeah, that's plenty. I don't want any more than that, really. I just want a soft, 
sort of purple tone coming in but not too much yeah that's it exactly especially with the pink jelly bean i think anymore it'd be a bit overpowering yeah um, and you you could probably tone it back down by bringing your pink jelly bean back in yeah but then of course you will be sort of adding yeah, more you, pink to it as well yeah so. of course so that's all we're going to do on there and then i'm going to grab my text for our hydrangea oh lovely so going with sort of pinks and purples with this but obviously you can um do the blues is quite a classic for your hydrangeas as well um but i do like the pinks and purples so i'm going to um use my jelly bean again okay. with my stamp so i'm I taking love that to text. do this it's such a great technique isn't it and just stamping this in so again you know we're not doing too much we're not yeah. doing the whole text, so don't worry if you get some bits that cross over, some bits that aren't you know, fully there, because it doesn't matter. What we're going for is this random yeah, sort of text. Yeah, I love that kind of look. It almost looks like, it reminds me of like, you know those sort of um, French shabby chic postcards? Yeah, definitely. You know, and all the script, the, the, the script is just, the actual words are just an extra. It's that sort of script, um, you know, soft, delicate kind of French style look that you're after with this. It's so nice. Definitely. So then we can take this off and then we can see we've got that lovely sort of torn edge on our um, background there as well. Yeah. So I'm just going to pop those out of the way. Let me just have a little wipe down on here before we start with the next bit. Of course. So we don't want to get ink everywhere. So we'll just wipe that bit down. Okay, and then we're going to go in and stamp our hydrangea. So I'm going to do this in my um, stamping press. Okay, yeah, trusty stamping press. Yeah, always. Um, and again, it's not essential, but it is a bigger design um, yeah um, if you if you are a sort of an acrylic block stamper you are because um, I did a mix of both with this collection yeah you can do uh, yeah and I was finding though that I had to use like one of my you know almost very largest blocks to get this you know these gorgeous um big you know because they're really substantial size they are, aren't they yeah they're a nice big big stamp so I'll just popping that in place picking that up um it's not you know, if we don't get this in exactly the right place, it's not too much of a disaster because it isn't um, in a particular place on the card. We're just sort yeah. of stamping it everywhere. But for me more now, I just want to be able to make sure that I've got all of the area actually stamped. So when we pop that down, stamping with our Versafine. Wonderful. This then, if we don't hit all of the those lovely florals there, we can go back down. Um, there's just a little bit in the center yeah just give that another that's better oh yeah that looks so wonderful on there it just comes to life doesn't it does it? doesn't it so that's all we need really from our stamping press there let's take the stamp off so that we don't um don't leave that on there and then i'll be looking for it and i'll find it a week later <laughs> in yeah. the stamping press so let's just pop that back on there stamping press out of the way for now as well and then we can go ahead and get doing some colouring on here. So I'm going to use my brush markers okay. for this. Um, so we're going to try and use a little bit of everything today. So for my next demo, we're going to use the watercolour pencils. Okay. So we really are trying to cover quite a few different mediums today. Yeah, brilliant. So if you are just joining us, um, we have got our Botanical Beauty stamp set. And, and like I say, whatever colouring me, you know, I'm so glad that you're showing us um, everything because I think everyone's sort of got a favourite colour in medium, definitely. haven't they? Yeah, definitely. Um, so I'm really glad that you're showing them and you're showing them all off today. They all deserve to be shown definitely, off. Definitely, yeah. So I'm just picking out some colours that I want to use. So this is my pink. I'm going to go with a really light pink. And let me double check which one that one is. Yeah, I'm going to go with that purple and I'm going to take the light, lightest one as well. Um, and let's get some green for our leaves as well. I really like this uh, shade here. It's 026 in the greens. Oh, me too. It's my yeah. favourite, that one. It's very, very realistic leaf colour, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Perfect. So if you don't have the colour chart, um, do always just check your colours before you go in on your stamp design because the last thing you want to do is go in with something that's not quite right because obviously the colours on the lids aren't always the exact matches to what they are when you actually put them onto your cardstock because it is difficult to get, yeah. you know, that colour in there. So just always make sure you just have a little bit of a try. Yeah. So I'm just going in with these. I'm not being too uh neat that's okay the word I'm yeah looking for a little bit random just a few little sort of squiggles and scribbles in here yeah 
and then I'm going to go in with my purple as well. Yeah, and I think using, you know, obviously, um, depending on how, like, sort of confident or how far along you are with your colouring journey, you could just do it in a solid colour. Yeah. Um, you know, but it's it definitely, even using two, and you don't have to be a really experienced colourist. Anne-Marie isn't doing anything in, in a particular sort of fashion. Absolutely not, no. Um, just give it a try. And, you know, that's the thing with stamps. You can always just practice before you put it onto your card. You can, yeah. Um, you know, like, for example, if you wanted to practice this, you could... Um, you could stamp this onto a piece of separate paper and then fussy cut it out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, these ones are actually, um, they're, they're quite nice to fussy cut these. They are, they're the, quite nice and chunky, aren't they? Yeah. And, and you know, like that, those big hydrangeas, you know, it's such a like pom-pom flower, isn't yeah. it? You can just easily just curve round those edges there um, if you wanted to do a bit of fussy cutting. Um, and that's just if you want to sort of do it, you know, separately. If you don't want to commit if you to don't, putting yeah, it on the card. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Especially if you've done, you know, a bit of time into your background or something. And then, you know, like you say, you don't want to go in too straight away and then mess it up. It's like when you do a sentiment at the end, isn't it? Oh, yeah, you can just guarantee. You, you've done all of this work and then you do your sentiment and it's it's not quite right. And you're, oh, it's the worst, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's just, it's you can just guarantee it's like either like bleeding a little bit or it's slightly wonky. Yeah. And then you end up having to like put it on like something separate and it's like, oh no. Um, yeah, definitely. Practice makes perfect. Oh, this definitely. is looking wonderful. So we've just added some water to those colours now. And because we're using those brush markers, we're using that premium watercolour card. Yeah. It just, it, it's just effortless. You know, yeah. we're not having to put any effort into this. We're not doing anything fancy. We're certainly not um, an artist. We're just going in and mixing those colours up to create that beautiful sort of mottled oh, pinky purple effect. Yeah, it's stunning. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So, so easy. The pens literally do all the work for you. You don't have to do anything too fancy here at all. So again, I'm going to add a little bit of colour to the stem using that green. Remember, you do have that super fine nib as well. So if you want to go in with like real detail, yeah. you can do that as well. Yeah, absolutely. That's it. They, they, they've got the two in one, these pens. Oh, they're just amazing. Aren't they? They're one of my favourites to use, definitely. I've got a lot of love for the brush markers. Oh, you know, we, we're, um, we're going international this morning. Are we? Are we? Um, Where are we got, headed? Yeah, we, um, we've got um, Tanya, or Tanja. I'm so sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Um, she is joining us from Denmark. Nice. Um, she has just placed an order last Tuesday and is looking every day to see when it's oh, shipped. Oh, I bet. <laughs> um, we have got um, my mum joining us from Lanzarote. Um, they are experiencing a couple of um, sort of storms over there oh, at the are moment. They? Yeah, so she's in watching us on Hunky Dory nice. Craft TV. Um, yeah, so um, let us know where you're joining us from. Um, you guys do always let us know that anyway. Um, yeah, we've got Carol Rooney from Sheffield. Um, yeah. Oh, well, we're really nosy. We love to know where everyone's from. We do. Uh, a lot of people said they were doing crafting this weekend. Oh, I'm not surprised. Uh, relaxing. Yeah. I think in the winter, get yeah. your craft stuff out. Definitely. I had a sort of relaxing weekend this weekend, and I was like, I'm definitely going to start my spring cards, and I just, I just didn't get round to it. Have you? No. I don't. I had the best intentions. All of us crafters do. We all do. All of us <laughs> crafters. We're like, yep, yeah, gonna get ahead. We're not gonna do that again. We're not gonna be last minute Larrys again. But we always do. We it. always are. We always are. Okay, so I've just added a little bit of detail with my fine line. I've just gone into the centre of the hydrangea flowers with my purple, and that really sort of draws that colour in to the middle there. Um, I'm just having a look now what sentiment we're going to use. So I think I'm going to use the I'm so grateful for you because it's just such a lovely sentiment. Yeah, it's nice, isn't um, it? I'm in two minds what colour to go, but I think I'm going to go black just because if I'd go with a purple or a pink, I think the flower will look out of place Yes, being in black. So just to make it um, feel inclusive, we're going to yeah. go with the same colour. Yeah, I agree. I think that's a perfect choice. Again, we're going proper risky here. We're going straight on without the stamping platform in black. But oh. do you know what? Worst case scenario here is if that wasn't right, we could stamp it again on a piece of scrap card, cut it out and stick it over the top. Yes. You know, it's not a disaster. It's not a disaster. There's always ways around little oh, I'm, mistakes. I'm the queen of damage control. Uh, <laughs> any way to hide flaws, I probably know it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. Um, but it's you, Anne-Marie. You've done it perfectly. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, but it doesn't always happen like that. No, that is very true. Okay, so then I'm going to take my purple again, and I'm just now going to add um, along the very edges just some freehand lines. Oh, yes. Just taking it up to the edges. And of a card. Again, you don't have to get a ruler for this. You don't have to be perfectly straight. It kind of looks better if it's not. Yeah, the, the free hand adds to it. It does add. If you get a little bit of a wibble in there, you know, this is unique to you. Nobody can recreate this. Um, using a ruler, you just wouldn't get the same look. It would look too sort of precise. Yeah. But this just adds that that element that's not not too fussy, not too much. It's no. just very artistic yeah. looking. Yeah, definitely. So now all we need to do is pop this onto a card blank. So let's have a, a root in our wonderful box down here. And I think this should be the exact right size. Oh, lovely. Mm. No. Oh, no. <laughs> we'll make it work. We'll make it work. We'll have a little bit of trimmage. It's fine. So just give that a nice crease there. Some double sided tape onto here. Obviously, in real life, if I was doing this, I would let um, this dry a little bit because it is a little bit wet. Of course. Um, but in real life, make sure you let it dry before sticking it down onto your card. Yeah. But we're, we're just doing a bit of magic of TV and showing yeah. you it on a card now. <clears throat> so then just take off our back in here. We'll pop this on and then we'll trim trim the excess off fabulous oh we've got a few more um people we've got sarah from the sunny isle of Wight. oh nice i know um mary from perth australia oh wow we, we, we're getting those air miles in today we aren't are we? aren't we we Definitely. really are my goodness um i love that though i love that everyone makes such an effort to join us oh me and too it, it's just great and it, I, we just love to have your company. Um, yeah, please keep your comments coming in. Um, we love it. It still amazes me that there are people watching us in Australia. It's crazy, isn't it? In Little Preston. I Technology know. It's just quite incredible, isn't it? It's <laughs> it's really wonderful. What would we do without it? Oh, Amory, what a stunning card. Thank, Thank you, you so much. You're very welcome. Um, everyone at home is absolutely loving that card Good. as well. Um, I am just going to show you um, just a very quick flick. Um, I have shown you the um, the stamps on their sort of packaging and everything, um, but I'm actually going to go through the boards. We've got three demos, um, but just for the ones that Anne Marie just doesn't get to show us in real life, we've got some stamped boards here. So this is the hydrangea one. If you're just joining us, Anne Marie did a fabulous demo. Thank you for that. You're so welcome. Um, with the um, I'm so grateful for you sentiment there. Um, we've got the jasmine one here with the wishing you the best of luck and that gorgeous butterfly. I love that we've got butterflies just scattered through this collection. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Um, the lilac one there with its gorgeous little swirly border. Oh, and it actually has a little bee. I didn't notice that when I was showing them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a little, a little bee. Um, we've got the pansy there with those um, buds and those other little butterflies there you're in my thoughts so that would be for any you know absolutely any occasion and the rose sending you all my love i love that they're um you know obviously this one is a love themed sentiment but it's not happy valentine's day or happy anniversary no it's not so pinpointed to a particular theme okay. is it no yeah, exactly um, so you're going to be able to use that for all of those different occasions. Um, yes, that is wonderful. So, yeah, if you need a little bit more inspiration, um, stay tuned. We've got more demos come in. Lovely. I'm just going to see where we're up to now. Oh, yeah, we've got some other goodies to do with this launch. So we have got our... Um, essential tag pads here. Um, so these are $7.99 each. Um, they're an absolute stash essential here. Um, we have got the white one that you guys have seen before. This is not a new launch, but we brought it back to show you with this one because I think these tags just go so perfectly. If you want to match your card to your yeah. gift, for example. Yeah. Um, and as well, I think with the botanical theme, uh, I'm just going to sort of bring in, ah, yeah, this one. I think the lilac's perfect for this one. 
Um, so for example, you could put this swirly border at the top of your tag um, with the sort of script font. I think they remind me of like the tags you get at the garden center in the plant pots. Yeah, yeah, I get that, definitely. Um, so I think with it going with that botanical theme, I think it, they're just perfect. And brand new today is the Essential Craft Tag Pad. So this has got 50 tags that are all shaped for you. Um, so they're super, super easy and really fun to use. Um, 280 GSM craft um, pages for you. So nice and substantial. Um, so uh, the, um, the bindings on the bottom. So when you want to come to use one, obviously just flip that cover over and just take it straight off the binding. It genuinely couldn't be easier. Um, and the binding being on the bottom does mean that we've got that gorgeous um, sort of tag shape at the top for you. Um, so no die cutting necessary. No, it's all no, done. It's all done for you. You don't need to get your punches or your dies out for this. Um, we have die cut the top for you, a little hole. Um, so if you want to poke that out, that's absolutely fine. Thread some ribbon or twine. Twine would look amazing with yeah. this. Um, again, heat embossing onto here would look stunning. The possibilities are endless. So I would definitely, if you are getting the stamps today, pop one of these in your basket for $7.99. They are wonderful. Also with this collection, we have brought to you um, handpicked by our design team and um, everyone on, pretty much everyone's had a sort of like little um, input with the uh, what we were going to bring you with this collection and we've decided to go with raffia yeah a little bit different really really different to um ribbon again because you can sort of um you can color onto this distress mm -hmm. it a little bit um obviously the colors that we've chosen um go perfectly with the collection so we've got a pink we've got a yellow um, and it's quite a quite a lot here. You've done about twenty meters of each one. That's amazing. If you could have seen this before the show when it was unravelled, it, it honestly it's we, like an actual heap of raffia. We had a raffia <laughs> party. We really did. Absolutely. So there's that gorgeous spring yellow. This one reminds me of Easter. Yeah, definitely. It would look gorgeous on like a bonnet or something. Um, we've got the nice gorgeous like spring green. Really nice and substantial ribbon. Nice and uh, ribbon raffia. Really nice and chunky there. Um, absolutely stunning to give that a sort of like more rustic sort of feel. Um, classic white that will go with absolutely everything and then we've got the um the it's like a cornflower blue yeah yeah definitely it's or, quite dusky isn't it it's yeah not, yeah it's 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 not powder and it's not sort of like you know you know deep navy or anything no. like that it's just a gorgeous in between this would look perfect on like men's cards mm -hmm. or like it kind of reminds me of like a pair of denim jeans. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, so such a great, so all these colours, you're not going to be stuck for one. Let's get them all in again. <laughs> so 20 metres of amazing raffia goodness for 9 99 And it will last you ages oh, it will. and ages. It really will. Um, yeah, it absolutely will. Um, if you are just joining us, I did see a comment. I think it was from Tracy who wanted to know the Win It Weekly question again. So we're going to repeat that for you. So to be in with the chance of winning our Duo Tone Paper Pad Ultimate Collection 2, um, what is the UK's national dish? Is it A, fish and chips, B, bangers and mash, or C, chicken tikka masala? Let us know. Um, the comments are swaying one way already. Are they? Yeah, they really are. Um, I thought this one would be a bit more divided. Yeah, me too. I, I'm definitely torn with between fish and chips and chicken, chicken tikka masala. Me too, yeah. I'm, I'm ruling out bangers and mash as yeah. well. Um, but yeah, just let us know. Keep your comments coming in and please like and share our video. Um, Anne-Marie, are you ready to give us I another am. demo? Yeah, Fabulous. I am. Okay, so we're going to use the craft tag pad for this one um, because it's just amazing. And if you haven't tried colouring in on craft card with all your different mediums, I really do suggest it because you'd be absolutely amazed at the the how the colours work out. So th those are our watercolour pencils. They look incredible on craft. All those colours really sort of pop. Even our white will really sort of pop on here. Oh, see. Yes. It looks fabulous, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, also, our brush markers will work on here as well. So you, you're gonna your colours you think they would be sort of tinged with that craft shade, but they absolutely don't. Yeah, and they, they pop so differently to the white as they well. Do. So the only medium which does sort of get sort of overtaken with the colour a little bit mm. is your markers. 
Yeah. Um, so you'll see these sort of, I don't know, they're a little bit more translucent maybe than yes. the, um, the other mediums. Um, so we're going to use our watercolour pencils because I just love the effect on here. So I've got my tag pad. I've got a six by six piece of craft card in the background as well. Yeah. So we're going to do our background first of all. <coughs> and I'm going to use our huge pansy first of all okay. um, to stamp um, sort of around the bottom. So we're going to create like a little bit of a border on the bottom. Oh, I love to do that with this one. It just yeah. it just cries out to be used in that way. It does, doesn't it? So yeah. I'm just seeing if I've got a larger acrylic block to hand because I don't really need to use the stamping platform here. Okay. I think I've only got little ones. Hmm. Would you like me to get one? We might be able to make it work. Okay. Mm, yeah, could you? Yes, Thank of course, you. of course. It's not going to work with the little one. I don't know where all my other ones are because you do get bigger ones in the set. Um, so what we'll do in the meantime is we'll use our butterfly because we're going to do this in the background sort of above. And I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use my orange zest. Let's just have a little look again at the colour on here. Look at that pop. How amazing is that? So let's get our orange oh. zest and stamp these butterflies sort of randomly in the backgrounds here. I like oh, how you they just look get... fabulous. What ink have you gone with? Oh, orange zest. Oh, see, I'd miss this running and getting this block. It I love looks... how you were just giving it a little clean with your dress. Yeah, always. <laughs> Sleeve comes out, little hem. Is this one okay? Perfect, thank you so much. <clears throat> okay, so we've got the butterflies up there. And I'm going to also go in with the little butterflies, our little silhouette ones. And these are perfect. If you like me and have hot hands, it will just stick to your finger. Oh yeah, me too, I'm yeah. a bit like that. So you can just go Ooh. in like this with our little butterflies in the background here as well. So just creating our own sort of background paper. Um, yeah, I'm liking how that's looking. And then we're going to go in with the pansies now at the bottom. Okay. So I'll just pop these onto uh, on now mega block. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, oh, you know, I was panicking. One extreme um, to the other, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm going to pop the pansies along the bottom of here now. So this is just a background. So again, don't worry if it's not quite how you wanted it to look. It's, you know, they're not quite looking how you wanted them to. It doesn't matter. Just remembering to try and tilt it ever so slightly, change the look of them so they all don't look the same. Yeah, you don't want them looking <clears throat> too uniform. Yeah. We've got a little bit overlapping, but that's okay as well. Don't worry about that. And then I'm just going to lift that one up slightly just so it angles ever so slightly differently to the two we've already done. There we go. So we've created like... Um, our pans is along the bottom, the butterfly is above the top, and then obviously we are going to add our tag onto here, so don't worry too much if it's not look quite right. Now I've got a little bit that's not stamped quite how I want it over there, so I can put my tag this way instead. Yep. Nobody will ever know. This is this is damage control live, yep. isn't it? <clears throat> Absolutely. Nobody needs to know. So we do need that big pansy again because we're going to use that now onto our tag. And again, we are going to stamp that with our Versafine with okay. our black. So just give that a clean on there. Now I am going to put it into my stamping press this time because I'm just doing one stamp. Yeah. Whereas here, when you're doing lots, it's just easier to do it. Yeah, it's quite awkward to just keep freehand. moving it yeah. on your press, isn't it? Yeah. And obviously this is going on the front of your card. You want that really perfect, pristine look. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Definitely stamping press is your best friend for this. So I'm going to use a little bit of our purple um, low tack tape along the bottom just because I don't want the stamp to come all the way down I sort of want to stop it ah, yeah. there um, because we're going to use that text along the bottom edge yeah so I'm just gonna make sure that's in place pick that up ink this up now with our Versafine okay I love that you've um, gone with orange for this card. It's so nice. I don't think we use orange at all. No, not unless you're Natalie. I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. A <laughs> little tangerine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so making sure that's nice and stamped there. Um, obviously, we've got a lot of detail in the middle with that um, sort of black 
sort of sketchy lines there. Yeah. Um, but that's where, you know, if you're doing these in sort of purple, they do sort of have black centers. Yeah. So that, that detail in the stamp is perfect for adding that shade in. Uh, um, I can't remember who designed these. It was our Jen, wasn't it? Oh, was it? Yeah, I'm sure it was. They are very, very beautiful. I'm sure it was. Okay, so then I'm going to take this off here, but I'm going to put it back just over our stamp, where our stamping it ends there. So I can get our text. Okay. <coughs> and sort of put this onto here. Now, I think... I'm thinking, I'm thinking black again for this. What do you reckon? Yeah, I quite like the idea of black on there. Just to make it just a bit marry up with the um, pansies a yeah. bit. Yeah, agreed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the bottom. Okay. And I'm going to pop this in first, this bottom corner. Then I'm going to go with this side. Just trying to get, I don't want them to overlap. Really. Yeah, it's almost like that sort of brick wall effect, yeah. isn't it? Where you get them in line, but not you know overlapping and then there and so then. much love for the stamping press Susie Smith the stamping press is my best friend yeah Jackie Bradley love my stamping press ever since I've got it um yeah if you don't have one of these stamping Oops. presses in your life you definitely you need, one. need one absolutely need one it's essential Okay, so we're going to grab this off here now. So when we come to pop this together, we're going to pop a little bit of that raffia around here. So we'll sort of hide that join there. But let's add some colour into here now. So what the beauty of these, again, is that you can add your water to these and they will still keep their vibrant colours as well. Look at this. So even though we're adding water to our watercolour pencils, they're still going to look fabulous. Yeah. So I'm going to go around the edges of my flowers with the, uh, the orange. Oh, they just look so bright and cheerful with the orange. Oh, it's just lovely, isn't it? Yeah. So nice. Um, we're all so, so excited for flowers. Obvi As you can tell, we're so excited for the flowers to start popping up yeah, and start blooming. Definitely. Um, yeah, so let us know what your favourite flower is. Anne-Marie, are you going with hydrangea? Uh, it's not my favourite. My favourite has to be my lilies. Oh, lilies. Yeah, okay, yeah. stargazer lilies are my absolute fave. They were my wedding flower. Oh, lovely. Um, but yeah, I do love a hydrangea. Oh, nice. What's you know, yours? My favourite. I, yeah, I do agree with lilies. They weren't my wedding flowers, but because I got married at Easter, the church had loads ah. of lovely Easter lilies. Um, I, had, I had roses. I nice. love a rose. Yeah. Um, very cliche, very classic, but you know, it's a classic for a reason. Yeah, definitely. Do you have a favourite flower, Emily? Chocolate for children. <laughs> That's very true. Your favourite flower is a milk tray. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just then adding the yellow into the centres. Oh, I forgot this little bud in the background here, hiding away. So again, just adding in that lovely deep orange and then our yellow in the centre there as well. And then I'm going to do my greens now as well at the same time, so then we can just do all the watercolour colouring in one go. Oh, wonderful. So just add our green onto here. And I've got two different shades of the green just so that we can get that little bit of um, variation in there as yeah, well. Yeah, it just makes them look a little bit more natural. It does. It really does. Um, you know, because when, when you look at leaves, you know, you, you get such... When you look at any flower, there are so many, you know, you think, oh, that's a, an orange pansy. But then there's like, you know, yellow is a little bit brown. Like you say, that deep yeah. sort of almost black. Um, yeah, we we take a lot of inspiration from nature in our crafting, don't we? Definitely, definitely. We really do. Okay, so then we're going to go in and add the water now. Um, and it just brings that whole thing to life. It's just beautiful. Oh, definitely. Um <clears throat> Again, if you've not tried our water brushes, they are well worth a go. Um, they just, you know, as you can see, Amaria is demoing these perfectly of what you can do with them. There's so many different uses. Um, just blending that colour around is oh, so, so easy. It melts. It's just so easy to do. It just turns you into like a little mini artist. It does, yeah. Um, yeah, definitely um, give those a go if you haven't already got them. 
Uh, and again, you can do so many different techniques. Um, I think, again, if you've not tried the watercolour pencils, um, have a look at um, getting those as well, because they're just, I think New Year is perfect time oh, to like try a bit, bit of something it? new. Um, and um, we do do a bundle where you can get the handbook in, so it will give you all of these techniques, the ones that we're showing today and, and more besides. So. Oh, definitely. Yeah, there's so much you can do with the watercolour pencils. Yeah, it's... I love I love to put them on like um, my inks on a glass mat and pick it up that way. Yeah. Um, doing like little flicks and splashes with them. You know, there's so many. It, it, I, I do feel like a bit of an artist when I use them. Definitely. They just make life so easy though as well. They, they just, really do. You know, the blending is easy. Obviously, you need the right tools. So a water brush is, is perfect because the you know you're not messing about with pots of water and things like that um your material like that you're stamping onto you know using our premium watercolor card just something that's got a little bit give like craft cards got a little bit of um give into it you know you don't want something that's i don't know that's not gonna yeah it take the water yeah, and, and it can sometimes even if it will like color with it okay um, it, it can sometimes like buckle and feel very heavy. Yeah. Um, so definitely, either the craft card that um, Anne Marie is using on our tag pad, um, or our premium watercolor card. Um, I know that the girls um, on Kelly's team are putting all of these sort of accompaniments in the comments. Um, so you can definitely go back and have a look, or just head to our website hunkydorycrafts.co.uk. Um, you know, all of these goodies will be available on there for you. So just adding some of our splats there with the colour. So what I'm doing is give, getting like a really intense sort of colour onto some scrap card, really sort of wetting that with our water brush, getting plenty of water out and then sort of splatting that onto our tag. Yeah, again, just a nice a sort of loose, just tap on the side yeah, really. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, it's just so easy to do. So we'll just pop these out of the way. I'm going to move this for now, then we can just give that a quick blast with the heat tool just to make sure that everything's nice and dry before we start um, sticking and things. Oh, of course. Let's just get our sad little heat tool. Oh yeah, that is very quiet, isn't it? <laughs> this is not good feels for Monday morning, is no, it? No, it's really Come not. On. It's okay. Wakey, wakey, heat <laughs> tool. It's just so very, very sad. It is. Um, so many people are wanting to give craft card a try. Oh, do honestly, it's amazing, and you you wouldn't necessarily believe that it would give you such a a bright, vibrant effect. Yeah, I think because when you look at it, you just think, oh, it's it's brown, it's yeah. brown. Yeah. But you know, look at these results here. It just goes to show that it really, you know, is just a fabulous um, card stock and like um, to work with. Okay, I think we're okay there now. Oh, we've got some favourite flowers. We've got orchids. Ooh, oh, nice. I do like an orchid. I just can't keep them alive. No, me neither. Um, they Karen, just don't like me. They're, they're quite. They, they're a little bit. They're a little bit temperamental, aren't they? Yeah. Um, Karen Goodwin says she's got a white and pink cherry tree. Oh, nice. In my front garden. Um, oh, you're very lucky. Yeah, we've had a few for cherry blossom. Sue Lee's love sweet peas and fuchsia. Oh, sweet peas are, yeah. Oh, they just, they're the epitome of summer. Yeah. Um, Wendy Taylor, there's a lovely magnolia tree around the corner. Oh, some of my magnolia. neighbors have got magnolias. Yeah. Um, I think I think we're all getting excited for like the first sort of signs. You know, what have we got coming? We've got snowdrops. Yeah, daffodils. like the little daffodils. You see the them sort of poking through, don't you? Bless them. We're like, we're here. Yes. Don't forget about us. Yes. Spring come to, is on the way. Yeah, come to give you a little bit of cheer. <laughs> okay, so we've just gone round the edges there with our canary yellow. Um, our prism ink um, so we can start to put this together now so the only thing I need to do is add a sentiment now I don't really have a space up here okay uh, what's our sentiment on here um, my thoughts now I think this card's a bit too cheery for that yeah it's probably yeah a little bit bright for a cut yeah, card like so a... we can mix and match definitely because it's all the same font yeah and I'm going to use the, um sending you all my love okay and what I'm going to do is just get a little bit of craft card to stamp that on too and I'm just going to sort of drop that sentiment down oh sorry you can't see drop that sentiment down from the top there okay um so let's stamp this 
I'll we'll just get that. There is a like a your craft card is different on either side as well, so just make sure when you're putting bits and pieces together, you're using the same side. Yeah, doesn't matter which side as long as it's the same side. <laughs> yeah, it's that's it's a funny thing, isn't it, with craft card? Yeah. Okay, so I've got that down there. So then all we need to do is just trim this so that we can add it to our card. So I'm just going to trim the top off here. It's going to be too big, but obviously once this is in place, we can have a look and cut this down. Oh, you're going to have it like a little tab? Yeah. Oh, wonder. Zest rather than our yellow. So it's just going to pop it out even more from our background. Okay. So just taking a little bit of the ink there around the three sides. And then I'm going to stick this on. So I'm going to go with one of our... In, yeah. Exactly. Like, messy crafting is the best crafting. So that's just going to go at the top there. And then obviously we can just flip that over and then trim it off. Rather yeah. than measuring it to the right size and making sure it's right, um, we can just pop that on there. Add our tag. I think I'm actually going to go around this with a bit of the orange. I think it helps just pop it from that background yeah, a bit more just, than just the yellow. Yeah, just intensify it a little bit. <clears throat> oh, we need to go around this with a little bit of raffia. I was going to say, you're going to put some raffia Oh, I nearly on. forgot then. Yeah, pass me a little bit of the yellow. Yellow, of course. I don't have any scissors to hand, but oh, I found the fine. end for you. Thank you very much. You are welcome. That's a good start for sure. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> oh it my really goodness. Is. Um, so it is really interesting this because it's like a paper. So I'm just yeah. seeing if we can, if we can unfold this a little bit. So if you look at it now, you could stamp onto this. Yeah, definitely. Or like sponge it, strip yeah. it, colour it. Um, you know, look obviously we've, we've chosen the colours for you, but if you want to add more or make it a bit more unique and special, definitely. How cool is this? I know. So I'm going to open this out and then I'm going to sort of scrunch it back up because the way it comes, it's quite, um, quite neat, isn't it? It's like straight edges. So I'm thinking if I open it up and then re-scrunch it. Oh yeah. It might look a little bit more. Like a distressed look. Yeah. It's not as, you know how this is quite straight? Yeah. It gives you a bit more of a, yeah go with that so I'm just going to tape this on the back first so let me just have a look at where I need that about there pop that on and then I can pull this round and then tie this on the front and I'm just going to do a little knot I'm not going to do a bow I think that would be a bit too much yeah so it's quite good because it holds its shape quite it, Yeah, it, quite it's well. really strong, isn't yeah. it? It's really, really good. Um, yeah, if you want this raffia, this one and um, the other four colours are available for $9.99 for 20 metres. 20 metres of each colour, Amazing. yeah. Amazing. Um, yeah, and you get those five different colours. We've got the yellow from Anne-Marie, pink, green, blue and white. There we go. So we just pop a little bit of that on there. Then this can go on with our foam pads. And then we are almost done. Almost done. Oh, I can't wait to show the card mates. There's some oh, really stunning there's so ones. so many. Now, I'm not going to lie, it is quite last minute. Yes. We're getting the, the samples. We were on edge waiting for these. Um, but our, the team, the girls at home that work on the design team, have done such an incredible job because they turned out so many cards yeah they in really record did. time it was so impressive yeah absolutely we were all pretty tight on this one we were yeah. all scurrying away trying to get cards <laughs> made it was a little bit frantic okay so let's have a look if we have a six by six in here we might have to trim down a, oh no maybe not maybe not i think we have one We do, oh, and it yes. fits the right size. So it just gives the um, score a good crease. Double-sided tape onto here. And if you wanted to, you could make your card out of craft cards, so it's a bit more matchy-matchy. Yeah. Um, that's entirely up to you. Um, but you you are obviously unless you've got a three, you are limited to sort of five by five being the largest square that you yeah. can do. 
or yeah. just under six by six, you could make that work. Yeah, it's sort of like two notches under six, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, there we go. There's our beautiful pansy. Oh, wonderful, Anne-Marie. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So different from the first card oh, as isn't well. Oh, is it? Let's grab that so you can see how different they are. Yeah, that one very like clean, simple, white, and then that one just so rustic and elegant with that craft card. It's just stunning. Um, yeah, if you want these that Anne-Marie has been demoing with today, our Amazing Botanical Beauties Ultimate Collection, which we would say is the best way to buy oh, them. Oh, for sure. Um, you know, you get so much choice. You can mix and match them. You know, all these scripts work perfectly. All these sentiments, um, which is what Anne-Marie did. You chose another sentiment, didn't you? Yeah. Um, so you can definitely... Um, mix and match them all and they are 24 pounds they are available individually um, but definitely the best way to buy them is in the bundle lovely so i'm going to show you some card makes that our team have been very very busy with we're so grateful um, so this one is that pansy again Ooh. Oh, look at that. Totally different look to the one that you've yeah. just done for us. Oh, they're like little rainbows. Oh, they're cute. Very beautiful. Um, this is a Natalie card. It's fun. Um, it really is. Using that same yellow raffia there. And, and I think she's actually made this gingham background. I think she has, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so different and so unique. We love that one. Um, what else have we got for this one? Um, we've got a little bit of hydrangeas. Oh, this is one of mine, actually. Um, uh. Combining the pink and the blue, um, just those classic hydrangea colours in there. Um, using my dyes, a little bit of twine. Um, yeah, I've really enjoyed using these stamps. It's it's just, they're just so easy to work with, aren't they? They they're, really are. They're gorgeous. Um, we have got this one from our lovely Jane. Um, using the lilacs. Um, now, you can get so much variation in lilacs. These are sort of the more bluey toned yeah. ones. Um, and I love the way that she's um, stamped this border all around the side and giving that a little bit of a, uh, a score on that um, on the white. It's absolutely stunning. Again, so, so beautiful. Um, they really do all the hard work for you, these stamps, don't they? They do. It's just, they just make life so easy because they're, they're really big stamps if you want to just do stamping and colouring. Yeah. There's loads of little extras if you want to do backgrounds and things. This one's fabulous. This one really is. So really made it into a background there. Um, you know, there's no sort of centrepiece or focal point other than the sentiment, but making those backgrounds, um, lots of different heat embossing techniques on here. I love the bright white. It looks amazing. Um, and all those different colours. I think this has been sponged with the ink pads, yeah, the prism ink lovely. pads. Who's is that one? And that was Jane's as well. Oh. She has worked so hard on hasn't this one. She? Um, Jane's actually also done this one, this oh, rainbow wow. one. So this hasn't even actually used the flowers. Um, she's just gone in with the embellishment sets, you know. So the embellishments are stamps in the, you know, I the like stamps in the own right. Um, this one's beautiful with those black and white uh, heat embossed butterflies. Absolutely stunning. Um, what else have we got? Again, we've got this one. I think this is one of Natalie's. Nice. Um, a lovely little hydrangea easel. I'm trying to show you like a really nice mix of colours like purple, pink, rainbow. Um, we've got this one from our lovely Kelly Lloyd. Um, with that jasmine, I love how it's so monochromatic, but that just pop of green sort of like a greeny greeny gold color on there really really beautiful um and we've got some with the rose this one uses it in that pink um really really nice sort of like cutaway detail That's there lovely, that one isn't it absolutely stunning so this uses like our sort of matte tastics um watercolor pencils on that rose there so so beautiful the things you can do with this collection are absolutely endless this looks like a natalie one i kind of recognize that background <laughs> technique um, with those gorgeous hydrangeas heat embossed in silver nice they're so stunning and again you can make sort of more clean and simple ones like this white one um so so many different techniques that you can do and you can even use them kelly lloyd has kindly made this pop-up box for us how nice would that be with like a little Valentine's Day present? It's just fab, isn't oh, it? So it's pretty. It's stunning. So much colour and detail on those roses. And she's, again, used those embellishments to create a sort of heart-shaped print there. Absolutely stunning. Thank you so much, Kelly. Um, and again, I oh, have to show this one, being, being a pink fan. These oh, bright wow. pink roses are absolutely stunning. This one is from Michelle Noonan. 
I love that. And again, she's used the dyes. I think she's used either some like washi tape or some ribbon on there. Stunning, stunning card. And again, so much variety in the color yeah. palettes that you can use there. Um, I think that's all that I've got to show you. Anne Marie, are you ready for your last demo? Yeah, I or, think so. Yeah? Yeah. Perfect. Let's do it. Okay, so we're going to use, I think we're going to use the lilac. I'm just cutting a piece of card there to the right side. So we're going to use our ink me because we're going to use our pens. So I'm going to do a little bit of stamping first before I start colouring. So I'm going to use the border because I haven't used any of the fancy little edgy pieces yet. Okay, yeah. We're going to use the lilac. We're not going to use the text this time. Okay, yeah. Uh, the stamp sentiment's quite nice for this one. Time yeah. to relax and unwind. Oh, I love that. Uh, and the bee. We have to use that little bumble. Yes. He's just too cute. Um, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp this detail on this edge. Now, I'm not going to use my stamping press for this because, again, it's only a little stamp. I don't think we need to use it for that. No. But we are just going to put our card onto our mat, just make sure it doesn't move around. And I sort of want this to sit sort of central. Okay. It's not, you know, it doesn't have to be too precise. No. But sort of central. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with my Versafine on here. Oh, actually, I best do Memento because I'm going to do Memento because we're going to use our pens. Yes. And they do stamp differently. So yeah, if we've got a little do. bit in Versafine and then a little bit in Memento, it, it, it just won't, won't match. Won't no. Match. <laughs> so going in with our Memento on here, and I'm going to stamp this sort of central onto this edge of our card. It's so elegant, this one, isn't it? It's that lovely. I'm, I'm really glad that is. you've saved the swirl for the lilac one. I think it's my favourite out of them all. Oh no, I've got a splat. I've got a fingerprint. So, I don't know where even though that's come from. What we'll do with that, that is where our bee's going to go. Okay. It's been decided. That is where our bee is going to have to sit because we've got that little fingerprint there. Okay, so then I'm going to go in with my stamping press because I want to pop this in this corner. Yeah. Where have I put it? Over here. So let's just bring this in. So magnets onto here and the other magnet is stuck to my scissors over there. Oh, they do do obviously. that. They're, they're very cheeky. <laughs> okay. So then let's just make sure we're happy with that because I do want as much of that as we can get in. So I'll pick that up and again, using our memento here. So you'll f I don't know if you'll find, I find memento is not as juicy no. as our Versafine. So you do need to work a little bit harder at this point. Um, with your larger stamps, you might find it easy to sort of swipe over oh, to get yeah. good coverage first and then tap to really make sure yeah. everything's covered. I think Versafine looks so much stronger and so much sharper because um, it's alcohol based. Uh, yeah, so it's super fine detail as well. Yeah, um, so it is just that little bit like like Anne Marie said, you just need to go in with that sort of little bit extra coat. Yeah, don't you? definitely. And again, this is where your stamping press is going to really um, work out for you because if you've stamped, the, I mean that has actually stamped perfectly. That really um, has. But sometimes with your mementos, because it, it it's almost like it's a drier ink, um, yeah. like a drier pad, you can end up with bits and pieces missing. So it's perfect using your stamping press there. Yeah, because sometimes, very occasionally, or I say very occasionally, quite often, um, you do need to just go in for that like second little press. Yeah, so, definitely. Yeah. So you can cut the little buzzy bee out. I'm actually going to stamp him straight over that splat because I think the detail in his wings and things like that will actually hide that little fingerprint. Oh, Never yes. even know. No Never one would know. ever know. So that's our little bee. And then our sentiment is going to come down in this corner. So we'll get all the stamping out of the way and then we can crack on with our colouring. So we're going to use our prism markers for this one. Oh, lovely. So just pop that down in that corner. Again, stamping everything with our memento so it all matches. Oh, there we yes. go. And then what I'm going to do with this is I almost want to, mm, I want to sort of extend it a little bit. Okay. And I'm wondering if I can do it with our black fine liner. Let me find it. Mm. I don't know where my black is, so we're not going to do that. I don't know where my black um, brush marker is. We'll just leave it. Are you let's sure? Yeah. Yeah, let's crack on with our colouring. So, 
let's have a look at all the different purples that we have because I'm going classic purple now with our uh, lilac yeah I, I love that I know you can uh, get them in different shades but a bit like hydrangeas aren't they you can get them in different shades yeah see this is a prime example why you should always check your colours <laughs> okay always check them before you go straight in because you don't want that you don't yeah. want to be doing that okay that purple is gorgeous um, this one also gorgeous um, this one let's have a look Ooh, nice oh that's a, a little bluey. bit more of a bluey one yeah so let's see 470 let's see what you're like mm, maybe we could go a bit bluey with our lilac yeah possibly sorry this is where you have to sit and uh, no make I decisions with me now no we're, we're all absolutely loving it we are with you let's have a look what's our 484 like oh nice um, yeah. And you're just using Ink Me um, on this one. A couple yeah. of people have asked about your base. It's just Ink yeah, Me. Yeah, it's Ink Me because we're using the alcohol pens. Um, so I wouldn't recommend using these on watercolour card. No. Um, because you just won't get the same blend. Whereas all of our other things, our inks, our brush markers, watercolour pencils, all on watercolour card. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this lovely, soft purple. Okay. Lilac. Yeah. <laughs> A lilac lilac. Lilac lilac. Um, and just add colour everywhere. Let's go in with our finer tip to do the edges. So we're not doing any blending just yet, we're just colouring. Yeah, of course. Um, and again, um, you've just seen Amory use both of those. These again are two in one. You get the yeah. chisel tip um, for sort of like more um, chunky areas like this one. And then you get that sort of fine tip for going around the edges, doing those little twiddly bits. Yeah, perfect for that. Um, and then I really would like something that's not as dark. What's this one like? <laughs> Still deciding my colours, apologies. But a bit pink. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I found oh, yeah. you. Found you. So then what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to pick out some of the flowers. Yeah. Uh, and some petals. So not all of them. No. No, just to give it that like variation. Just like you would see in real life. Yeah. And then some of them I'm just doing sort of the middle, some of them I'm picking up a bit more of the bud. Again, just to give it that little bit of difference. Yeah. And then anything that's, you know, if you've got sort of sharp edges, just blend it back in with your paler colour. Yeah, that's it. And I always do that as well. I go in with my light colour first and then my dark colour. Yeah. Uh, and then back in to blend with the light colour. Um, definitely it's such a great technique again there is a handbook for your craft markers if you're not sure um, check out that handbook because there's all sorts of ideas and top tips and things in there as well yeah it's so handy as well and um, and doing yourself little swatches as well is really helpful yeah, we do have swatches on the website so rather than doing this if you've got the swatch I just don't know where mine is <laughs> yeah it's, it's quite difficult yeah to root out Besides which, I've done my own swatches and I would not like to bring my handwriting in, in here and my um, messy old swatch guide. So yeah, you can print one off on the website and then it's just a case of colouring it in. It's a good thing to do if you're new to the markers, if you've only just got them. It just gives you a bit of a, a try of them, you get a feel for the pen, how they work, how they feel, how the ink comes out. Um, yeah. Doing the... The swatch is brilliant for that. Uh, let's just find. And as well, there are a lot. Um, they're a lot less intimidating than what you might think. As oh, well. definitely, definitely. Don't be scared by them. Um, they are a bit more. Once you've got the colour down, you're a little bit more committed. Yeah. Um, you know, you, you can't blend the same way as you can. Um, it's not as easy, should I say? It's not as quick. Yeah. Um, with your markers as you can with any other mediums. But you can still get really great effects. They just take a little bit longer. That's all. Um, and if you do go out the lines, um, obviously our colourless blender oh, yes. isn't for blending. What it does is it pushes colour back. So anywhere like here, if you push back towards the image, it will push that ink back towards there. Yeah. So anywhere you go out the lines, that's what that's absolutely ideal for. Uh, let's get a little bit of colour in our little bumble 
pen. Oh, that's the perfect honey bee colour. Isn't I'm it? I'm on the first go, Anne Marie. That was quite good. It's quite good. Very impressive. That doesn't usually happen. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with, rather than black, let's just have a look what the grey, I think we will just go grey because I think it's just not quite as harsh. Yeah. So just a little bit of that on there. Oh, he's so cute. He is super cute. And then obviously we can go in with one of our really cool greys for his wings. So Wonderful. our um, cool grey one, just for his little wings there. Ooh. Just to add that little bit of colour. Um, okay, I feel like, I do feel like we need to find a black fine liner. Okay. <laughs> I feel like um, this is unfinished. That's fine. It is unfinished. Okay, hang on. I don't know why I don't have mine. It's okay, we've it got is. one, we've got one. Have we got one? Yeah, I do just need to. <laughs> I'm disappointed that um, I Right, I haven't got any scissors, but it is there. We've okay. got a pack of the um, brush markers here. Well, I do need one. Well, exactly. So it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, fine. How handy. I know. And um, Emily. I, I know, I know. <laughs> I'll put it back. <laughs> I just feel like it's unfinished. I feel like I need to then... It so would just it would bother you all day, Anne-Marie. Yeah, would. let's we can finish this off, definitely. Um just to Gemma said, I'm just trying to learn shading. So this is thank you for showing this and for the amazing tips. Oh, you're welcome. You are welcome. This is what we love to do. Um Tracy Williams, when does the one pound shop finish? That is still ongoing. It is. Um, you know, um uh, all your gemstones, your prism shimmer ink pads, um, I think some hydrangea inserts have been added, which would work perfectly with the hydrangea stamp. Oh, they would. Um, Moonstone minis are still available. So just head on to hunkydorycrafts.co.uk. That is still ongoing. Um, though we have had some sellouts, a few topper sets and oh, things definitely. have gone. Oh, yeah. definitely, yeah. It's been absolutely chaotic, hasn't it? It really, really is. Um, okay, so just add in a little bit of detail and I'm just going to bring it down this edge as well oh, of course oh yeah so it's not straight it's not perfect it's not like the design because obviously Jen and Stacey when they've done these have made it very precise and fabulous but we're just continuing that theme just with our little dots and our little lines there Oh, I love just that. Just finishes it off a little bit more. Yeah. You know? um, and then I think we can add this onto our card blank. So I know there's some five by fives in here because that's where I got that from. And this can then go onto here. Don't be alarmed as well when you're using your alcohol markers if the pen comes through the back. That's totally fine. Yeah, you're not going to see it when you um, no. stick it down. But no, that is... That's the thing. Don't worry. It's just because they're, re they're very strong. They're very intense. Yeah, um, very you know, juicy. But obviously the, the, the um, flip side to that is you get that amazing colour payoff. Yeah, definitely. So then just pop this oh, onto Marie. the front of our card. I love this one too. And there we go. So another, oh, if only you could see the chaos. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll move some of it, but that's not half of it. Um, another, you know, quite clean and simple look. Um, using our alcohol pens. Thank you so much, Amory. Oh, we have had such a treat. It's been amazing to see all those demos. Um, and just brilliant to like get all those pens out, have a little bit of fun stamping. Um, so if you do want these stamps, please head over to our website. Um, they are brand new in today. Get those in your baskets. A um, couple of things to leave you with today. Thank you so much for your company and for joining us. We really appreciate it. We are going to add the Antique Blooms Ooh. A4 stamp set to our rollover box. Nice. How wonderful. Um, Natalie is on TV today at 6.45pm with our beautiful Spring Bird Song collection. We absolutely cannot get enough of no, that collection can't. here at Hunky Dory. We adore it. Um, so please, um, if you're not doing anything this evening, tune into that. And um, myself and Natalie tomorrow um, are going to be introducing the amazing Iris Folding Collection. We cannot wait to bring you that. Um, so see you tomorrow. Have a lovely rest of your day. Mm -hmm.